Hi guys, welcome to the Women and Career Guest Series. If you're watching us for the first time, please click the like button. And also you can subscribe in our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. So you can also tag along and hear all the wonderful things we have to say. Now, back to today's session. So today I have come all the way to Singapore and I have met a lovely and someone I now admire, artist that I think we all have to hear from. She studied art in Paris and um, started her exhibition in 1997. Since then, she's done exhibitions in Singapore, in Bangkok, in Paris, in Seattle, in New York. She studied and specialized in fresco paintings and she does this especially in different forms. So she does photography, sculpture, paintings, she even writes and she basically does a lot of work using the Chinese ink in black and white. Now I was in one of her exhibitions just the other day and I will tell you her work speaks for herself. They are so inspiring. I am pleased to introduce today Helen Le Chatelier. Helen, welcome. Thank you. So Helen, it's good to have you today. Thank you for having me. No, no, it's a pleasure. I've seen your art pieces and I'm so inspired by your work. And that brings us to today's session. So question number one, Helen, what inspires you? I think I'm uh, mainly inspired by something we all have in common, no matter our culture and uh, no matter our background or where we come from. And it's uh, uh, how do we deal as human beings with memory, um, collective one, collective memory, and also individual one. And how do we manage to um, consider this memory with our uh, own body as well and how our body becomes then a kind of recipient for this memory and all what we have lived in life. Yeah, because I see that you said that's why you use the black and white because it's common to all, no emotions are felt. Yes, exactly. Because for me, I think if I used some colors in my artwork, mm -hmm. um, I would have conveyed some uh, emotion or specific emotion which meaning can be different from one culture uh, to another and it's not really what i have in mind I, what i i think what i'm talking about is more general and common to anyone no matter where we live on the, on the planet so. <laughs> so um for me i think when i look back i think that first i was very um uh, mature in a sense maybe because I started to work uh, as a painter when I was 20 and I did the first exhibition in Paris at that time but then I realized that uh, this artistic journey was a um, tough one and a difficult one also very demanding and I had another another goal in my life that was to build a family and uh, have a family project so I decided to hang back my brushes for uh, some wow. years with no intention at that time to come back one day or to reopen that door. So you didn't know you I, were going to come back? No, I even said that probably I will never do that again. So oh. it was a kind of decision I made at that time, but with no intention to, to reopen that door later on. And then uh, I met my husband and I had four beautiful kids. Wow. And, uh, and then I don't know why, but after the fourth one was born, I unconsciously i think i have a locker in my brain that open up and and then i said okay now i think the box of in the sense of the family project is done now i need to grow up those children which is a big uh, work as well but um i'm free to consider something else and i just realized that i wanted to paint and i had this uh, very strong feeling that i i really wanted to paint again and so uh, i started again so um, as a tip, I could say that uh, um, at some point, you know, I feel that I lost a lot of time in my, yes, in my been, been life. For a while. And at the same time, um, if I consider things on a different angle, I think I saved also a lot of time because it allowed me to be uh, focused on my family project for a while. But then uh, I'm uh, probably more free and also uh, more aware of certain things in life that make me today save time in building a proper career. So um, as a tip, I would say the first thing is really to know really what you want. What is your goal? I mean, identifying so know goal, yeah. know what, you want. what is your goal and uh, how far you are uh, able to, to, to go or you want to go to reach that goal. 
because I mean there are some sacrifices to make oh, as yes, well, you yes, know. Yes, so yes. Um, so just be aware how determined you are, and uh, for me, determination is one of the biggest uh, uh, thing and the, one of the uh, biggest thing that drives me actually really. So I, I'm very determined. I know very well where I want to go. I'm not sure I will manage to go as far as I would like to go, but at least I know that I'm ready to go as far as I can. So um, determination is definitely for me the key very words. Clear. And uh, and also, uh, yeah, know what you want for yourself, what is your goal, how far you're uh, ready to go and willing to go, yeah. And, uh, and also, um, I would say use your network and uh, use your network. I yeah, like that. and definitely I think when I was twenty, I was very bad at networking yeah, and really sure. so are not uh, self confident enough probably to to go in this. But definitely I think networking works when people feel you are determined. That's why determination is so, so important. They can see the passion. they feel you are so determined that they are ready to follow you wherever you want to bring them. So I think it's also probably one of the the things. And, um, and definitely networking, I remember in my younger years, uh, even if I also continue to work during all those years without yeah. uh, painting or uh, being, let's say, an artist, I worked in the design field for many years. I never stopped working even when I had my kids. But um, I think I was not aware of how to use this uh, meeting you can do as we met, actually, yes. by chance. Exactly. You know, and, and then it became something funny and very friendly in a yes. sense as well. So I think uh, at some point, I think when I was younger, I didn't um, realize how important that, that was. And also, uh, in many sense, because, you know, it's not only about using... Um, the network to go further. It's also because I, I do believe that in life we need to help each other. Yes. And and that's yeah, the only way yeah. that's the only way it can work actually. I mean there is no point of thinking only about your own practice or pushing your own uh, career. You yeah. know what I mean? If you if you help someone at some point then people will be And that's how life is. People will help will you help too. you later or you never know what can happen. So I, I re really do believe that networking is a very mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. thing, and um, which means that also, and it's not easy as an artist because I, to me, I mean, my art practice asked me to to be quiet at some point, to make things more quiet around me, yeah. also to find. I mean, to like go inside, inside myself to really uh, reflect, reflect what I I carry and uh, what I am thinking and what I want to express in my through my through my art. But um, at the same time, there is another part that is as important as this quiet time is really about promoting what I'm doing, but also meeting people and also because you, you cannot be inspired if you don't meet anyone or if you are just uh, isolated in your own place. So you also have to expose yourself. To, expose yeah. yourself, but at least oh, and, and, uh, also at the same time, I would say to listen others because they are, always have something to bring you wherever yeah. they are. and. Uh, wherever they come okay. from, uh, yeah. I think we... You're learning, you're learning from all Just to be, yeah, to, to be receptive or to be, you know, and, and it's also an artist, I mean, artist work is also very much like this to me. It's really uh, watching uh, the world around you and, uh, and uh, listen uh, the world around you and, you know, and you just uh, feed yourself with all yeah. what you see and what you listen and what you hear and then you digest everything. And then you, you through this uh, kind of digestion process, you just uh, express something new. So then you express so, it using painting and photography, yes, sculpture, so. and installation. But to be back to really career and building the career, I would say that definitely for me, determination is the so determination best thing because knowing what you want, the goals, yes, and also networking. Those three yes, things. Yes, really that's nice. right. That's yeah. right. So Helen, we want to talk about managing your career and family and you know, even the years of absence how did you manage all that so uh, i think uh, that you know when you make a choice and when it's you're really convinced by your own choice yeah. your uh, kids and children are uh, happy to follow that yeah. because they feel you are comfortable and they feel it's your own uh, so they tend to support 
yeah, they are very supportive in my case, and uh, I'm lucky at the same time. But I think they really understood that it was part of my balance, and that if I'm not uh, having any activity or if I don't um, uh, find a way to be uh, to be happy also in my uh, own practice, I I will be a less good mother, maybe. Which is true. So, you cannot uh, give what you don't have. If you're not happy, yes. you cannot make. That's right. And for, for me, and in my case, I have to say that even if I relaunch this art, uh, artistic career later, I never stopped working. So I always had an activity anyway. I worked as a designer, as I mentioned a little yeah. bit earlier. So you kept yourself active all through that period. Yes. Really and even if uh, at some point I was working a little bit less because I was working on a freelance uh, basis. So mm. it's, first, it allowed me to have more time when my mm. kids were uh, younger. But I uh, and to manage my time and to be my own um, boss in a yeah. sense that I could manage my 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 schedule mm -hmm. and decide when I wanted to work or not. But um, at the same time, it always kept me. Even if sometimes I was not independent financially speaking, I think it always kept me like I need this world, which is my own world. Nothing to do with kids. Nothing to do with my husband. It's only my own world and this is necessary for me to be happy and to and to grow as a and person. to grow as a person and also i think to have also um a better even respect for myself you know mm -hmm. as a that my my life is not all i mean of course my kids and my husband and, and my family is uh, one of the most important things in my life even probably the most important thing in my life but at the same time it's not all my life i so have another life i have life. another part of, of life yeah. that is very important to me and it's even the question of uh, like surviving to have access to my own inner world yeah. and so those time of quite uh, quiet uh, uh, specific moment I mentioned yeah. earlier for my act practice introspection <laughs> which is the subject of this exhibition actually mm -hmm. but uh, really um, so I and I and I found depending on the time also I say that I, I, I can say that I found different way uh, to to manage uh, yeah. to find this these moments in life even when the kids were small so it depends so that's where your determination also shows you know you were determined in some way to also yes so uh, I I uh, started yeah. writing as well because at that time that was probably the best medium for me mm -hmm. to express, express myself yourself. and to find the time to to explore yeah. my inner world so yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful story. So Helen, we really want to thank you. It was really nice this having is my this pleasure. session. So guys, if you're watching, we're going to have Helen's website at the banner at the bottom of the page. Please feel free to visit her website and her social media handles. And if you have any comments, please post it in the comment box and she'll be happy to answer your questions. So it was nice having you guys again. Thank you all for watching.